My name is Richard. So what else do you need to know? Stuff about my family or where I'm from? None of that matters. Not once you cross the ocean and cut yourself loose. Looking for something more beautiful. Something more exciting. And yes, I admit. Something more dangerous. So after 18 hours in the back of an airplane, three dumb movies, two plastic meals, six beers, and absolutely no sleep, I finally touched down hey, you, how about you? in Bangkok. You want to go to the waterfall? Come on! Body market! 1,500! Cheap for you! Come on! Hey! Hey! You want me somewhere to stay? I'll be fine. Where you are, man? And this is it. Bangkok. Good time city. Gateway to Southeast Asia. Where dollars and Deutsche Marks get turned into counterfeit watches and genuine scars. This is where the hungry come to feed. Wanna drink snake blood? Wait a minute. Did you say snake blood? Oh yeah. No thanks. What is wrong with snake blood? I just don't like the idea. Well, maybe you're scared? Afraid of something new? No, I just don't like the idea, that's all. I <laughs> like every tourist. You want it all to say, just like America. So never refuse an invitation. Never resist the unfamiliar. Failed to be polite. Gentlemen, that was excellent. I never outstay you welcome. Just keep your mind open and suck in the experience. And if it hurts, it's probably worth it. Hi. The only downer is everyone's got the same idea. We all travel thousands of miles just to watch TV and check into somewhere with all the comforts of home. And you gotta ask yourself. Don't worry, man. Don't you worry. What is the point of that? for traveling alone fuck it if that's the way it has to be and that's the way it is Oh, <laughs> 
everybody having a good time, eh? Fuck you! Fuck you! Bust of parasites! Viruses! That ass fucking right, cancers! Bust of cancers! Anthony smoke. No, I don't have anything to smoke. That's no problem, Paul, because uh, <laughs> I've got loads of the fucking stuff. Yeah. No, you don't. No, oh, you're right, I don't. Oh, that's better! Thanks. It was a beach. I understand. A beach. Too beautiful, too much input, too much sensation. I, I tried to keep it under control, but it just keeps spilling out, spilling out, spilling out. You see, um, she's on an island. And the island is, is perfect. I mean, I mean, real. Perfection here. You know, I'm not just talking about. Oh, that's nice. It's a real fucking deal, okay? Perfect. It's just like a a lagoon, you know, a tidal lagoon, it's sealed in the cliffs. Totally fucking secret. Totally fucking forbidden. And nobody can ever, 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 ever go there. Ever. But a few people went once upon a time. Men and women with ideals. I understand, I'm not just talking about the usual traveling fucking wanks. Do you believe in that place? Hmm. But I guess you're going to tell me that I should, right? Doesn't he fucking matter what I think anymore? That's up to you. Ideals, eh? We were just fucking parasites! The big, chunky Charlie! the one that was trying to find the cure. Procurer of the cure. I said to him, you've got to leave. You've got to leave this place. But they wouldn't listen. No offence and all, but... Fucked in the head, right?
Nima. Yeah, you too. Be careful, electric, electric. Ma'am, ma'am. Human, no worry. believe that something's gonna happen for you. Not like it does in the movies. And when it actually does, you want it to feel different. More visceral. Never Never Land, kind of fuck up all the paperwork. The police were pissed because he was traveling under a false passport. Go ahead, sign the statement. It's okay. It just say. He cut his wrists, already dead when you found him. But they didn't ask me about the map, so... No problem. I didn't tell him. You have a nice day. Look. Excuse me. Hello. 
look. I mean, this island may not actually even exist. And even if it does, I don't even know if we can get there or not. I just wondered if you wanted to come with me. That's all. Secret Island. Hi. Hi. Um, I just feel like everyone tries to do something different, but you always wind up doing the same damn thing. I realized that I had absolutely no idea of how I was going to get there. At ATM and I have to hand it to the guy was great. I mean he organized the whole thing. Tickets, timetables, the whole damn trip. Bangkok to Suratani. Suratani to Nat Tom. Nat Tom to Cha Wang. 500 miles in 24 hours at less than 400 baht. Trust me, it's a very good deal. Follow the regular tourist trail. take us to the island. It's in the national park and it's forbidden to go there. But we're allowed to travel to this one to stay for one night. Yeah, yeah, no. See, that's the wrong one. Yeah, I know that. Right. But how do we get from there to there? We swim. We swim? Yeah. We leave our rucksacks on this island and then we swim. We can swim. Can't you, Richard? Of course I can swim. It's no problem. Okay, so how, how far is it, though? I don't know, one or two kilometers? Cool, cool. Not far at all. Stop it, Richard. It will be worth it. An adventure and just the three of us. trying to help the guy through the dark times. It's not a problem. You see that? It's not a problem. Whoa. Change the fucking subject. 
All right. Let's talk about how you spend an hour in front of the mirror every day. Oh, that's nice. You know this guy? He likes to wipe his ass with tree leaves. <laughs> he thinks he's some sort of jungle commando. I All right, what swear up, to God. What up? Damn. <laughs> I presume you know the, the story of the Kentucky Fried Mouse. Yeah. Woman bites into a chicken leg and it turns out to be uh, a mouse. Right? Right? A mouse. <laughs> it's an urban myth. <laughs> exactly. It always happened to a friend of a friend of someone else. So, so, I guess there's this urban myth going around here at the moment. It's about a beach. Yeah? Uh-huh. Huh. And this beach is perfect, man. It's on an island, right? Hidden from the sea. Now imagine, you got pure white sand, crystal clear water, palm trees. Yeah, with coconuts and shit. Yeah. Yo, tell them the best part, dog. Plus, enough dope, Richard, <laughs> to smoke all day, every day. Day for the rest of your goddamn yeah, life. Mad weed. <laughs> There's only a few people who know exactly where it is, and they keep it absolutely secret. Of course, no one's actually ever met any of these people, only met someone who has, you know what I mean? Exactly. It's a Kentucky Fried Mouse. Huh. Although, I must say, if I had a key to a place like that, I'd keep it to myself, because. You don't want every fucking asshole in Thailand turn it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what do you think about that story, Richard? It's good. It's a good story. Hey, Jeez. you! I got your key! Now, I know it wasn't a part of the plan, but I made a decision to leave a copy of the map. I'm not going to say it was the best decision I ever made. I told myself that spreading news was a part of a traveler's nature. <laughs> but if I was being completely honest, I was just like everybody else. Shit scared of the great unknown. Desperate to take a little piece of home with me. Richard? Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Shit. Etienne will be angry if I wake him. He thinks I waste time taking photographs of the sky. I think 
think so, too. Yeah? Have a look. And later we'll get the perfect photograph. You realize that in the eternity of space, there's probably a planet out there, right? Just like this one, where another you is photographing back down towards us. I mean, essentially, you are photographing yourself in a parallel universe. Incredible. Yeah. I mean, there are infinite worlds out there, you know, where anything you want to happen does happen. Richard, you know something? Hmm. This is just the kind of pretentious bullshit the Americans always say to French girls so they can sleep with them. God. Sorry. I thought I was doing pretty good. Just this guy, Richard. Let's try. an infatuation for someone, you always find a reason to believe that this is exactly the person for you. It doesn't need to be a good reason. Taking photographs of the night sky, for example. Now in the long run, that's just the kind of dumb, irritating habit that would cause you to split up. But in the haze of infatuation, it's just what you've been searching for all these years. One kilometer. Two. Three, two. I don't know, I'm American. So? I'm thinking miles, not kilometers. Okay, so how many miles do you think it is? I don't know, but it looks like a long way away. If it's too far, we're gonna drown. But if we don't try them, we'll never know, right? Right. So let's go. Oh, fuck. Richard. Oh, fuck. That's so thin. What? Are you joking? No, no, no. What fin? Okay, shark fin? I don't know, just a fin. Over there, about 100 meters. 
Was it big? Yes. What the fuck do you expect me to do about it? Nothing, I just thought this should know. Well, to be honest, Satan, I'd rather you hadn't told me. Okay, I'm sorry. It's a bit fucking late now, isn't it? <laughs> oh no, this is what I call a lot of dope. <laughs>
sure we should have turned back. But I wasn't going to. Not now. I just kept telling him we'd get there. Trust me. It's paradise. If we take this down, it should lead us all the way. Come on. Well? Well? What? How do we get down? How do we get down? How am I supposed to know? Do I have to set everything now? But, um, fuck, you wanted to be in command, Richard. I only took command because you lost your nerve, French boy! Yeah, and look where you've taken us! Well, Tim, if you're not happy with the way things are going, you could just take over, all right, sir? All right, I will. There, we climb down there. We can, Tim. Francois, look, we're not gonna jump, all right? So just can it. And as for climbing down there, that is just an asshole suggestion! Calling me an asshole? Yeah, and that's just the start of it. <laughs> All right, first place, let's do it. All right, motherfucker. Bonsoir! Bonsoir! to work up the balls to do that. <laughs> Mind you, I was on my own, so you have to make allowances, you know what I mean? Think maybe you better meet up with Sal. Oh, he's a kitchen. 
expected. People living in a cave, maybe even a few guys in tents, but nothing like this. It was like we arrived into a lost world. A full-scale community of travelers, not just passing through, but actually living here. I suddenly became aware that we weren't even invited. The guy who drew it? Duffy. Yeah. Yeah, he's dead. What? No way. Yeah, he cut his wrists open in a hotel room on the Kassan Road. You have seen this? Well, I came afterwards. Well, that's sad news. He was one of the founders of our community. Oh. But he became depressed. <clears throat> the police didn't know what to do with the body, so I guess they're going to, like, incinerate him or something. <laughs> Do you think he gave a map to anybody else? I, I, no, I don't think so. And you, have you shown this map to anybody? No. 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 Good. We value our secrecy. Okay. Tomorrow I will travel for many miles on a bicycle. 
Um, Vicky. Uh, 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 sutra Chu Patovati Minogo Milia Bitsiklom. Great. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Sutra Chu Putovati Monogo Mila Bitsiklom. Very good. Right. It's far too easy, though. Okay. Sutra tu putovati me nogo milia biciklum. Da pose tim svojo tatu ko je čuva tozi na plane mi. There's more, you know. Richard! Sutra tu Putovati Minogo Milia Biciclom. Yes, Richard! This is represented, man! Sutra to Putovati Minogo Milia Biciclom. This became our world. And these people, our family. Back home was just one more place we didn't think about. I settled in. I found my vocation, the pursuit of pleasure. Sal was the leader, but it wasn't a big deal. I mean, there wasn't any ideology or shit like that. It was just a beach resort for people who don't like beach resorts. Some of us build. Even paradise takes a little shape. For years, they kept this place a secret. They didn't need to tell anyone. They were practically self-sufficient. The only thing they had to do was sail back once in a while to trade a little marijuana and buy some rice. We grow our own, which means no stealing from the farmers on the other side. And do they know that you're living here? Oh, yeah. But they keep to their side and we're not trespassers on their turf. A couple of years ago, they came to us and they said that we could stay. That was all right, but that nobody else should come. Which kind of suits us as well. So you was lucky, you know. Very lucky. There was Keedy, who only cared about two things. We thank you, Lord, for the twin pillars of civilization. Christianity and cricket. There were the Swedes. Christo, Sten, and Carl. We like fishing. Fishing. Yeah. And in the winter, we like skiing. Yeah. Of course, in Thailand, there's no skiing. Wait. Wait to fish. Our resident chef was known as Unhygienics. Let's cook. On account of his obsession <laughs> with soap. Fish, fish, fish. Still I smell of fish. There was a range of sporting and leisure activities to suit all tastes. Etienne is good at soccer. I mean, I could do that if I wanted to. Just don't want to. What are you talking about? Making conversation. Do you have a girlfriend? Here. 
anywhere. No. Why? Just making conversation. Right arm, Uncle Wicket, three balls remaining. So anyone who still does not understand. The only person I didn't like was Sal's boyfriend, Bugs, our on-island carpenter. Hey, Richard, can you do this? Can you make anything? A man should have a talent in his hands. So every community has its rituals. Well, ours was simple. The last one to arrive tattoos the next. Andy, bring yours closer. Desire is desire wherever you go. The sun will not bleach it, nor the tide wash it away. One, she's just teasing you. What are you talking about? Two, you don't speak French. Three, he speaks French. In fact, even better than that. Four, he is French. Five, he's much better at football. Sorry, sorry. Soccer than you. And six, you're a bit strange, Rich. Some girls like that in a man, but not usually the sort of girls you want to be with. Is that right? Come on, your last girlfriend chucked you. There must have been a reason. Oh, well, that was not my fault. And seven, look at, look at your thumbs, man. They're well-defined. What is that supposed to mean? You play a lot of video games. That is a powerful index of incompatibility. Why do I get the feeling like you're trying to tell me something here, Katie? You haven't a hope, mate, not a bleeding chicken's chance in Thailand. Now I'm in. Thank you. So, enjoy the beach and cut the bullshit. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. It won't take a minute. No, please, no. I must go to Maryland. You see, you're the son. What's this? You want to go to the mainland to see a dentist? Yes. It's out of the question. I'll be the nurse. 
How's it going, Richard? <laughs> fine, fine. You okay with this? Yeah. I mean, we have a secret here, right? Sometimes people need to take a little pain to keep it that way. Excellent. Excellent attitude. No problem. to come to the beach with me? Sure, yeah. Are you happy, Richard? Happy? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess. I mean, the beach, you know, is, is just perfect. Do you think that I ignore you? No. But I do. It's because I'm with Etienne. It's difficult for me to spend time with you. suppose that there's any, you know, special reason that you should spend time with me, that is. Of course there is. I like you. A lot. Have you, have you told this to ATN or? No. It's our secret. Okay. Look! There! The plankton. Shrimps, when they're disturbed, they glow. Come on. ourselves and we honestly believed that no one would ever know I want to talk about what about you and Françoise what do you mean me and Françoise I mean Richard but I want her to be happy. Yeah. I mean, of course. We all do, right? Shut up! 
please shut the fuck up. And if happy is with you, then I will not stand in your way. Okay, man, I, I really don't know what you're talking about. Fuck you, Richard! I know! Okay, I know! Everybody knows! The problem is seeing the fish. With the heavy rain and the bad light, it's very difficult to catch them. It can last for days. Sometimes we get really hungry. Richard! I start there's there's just a couple of things you have to remember number one you have to remain calm right and number two you have to show no fear teach it because the sharks you see the sharks they can sense that fear just as easily as they can sense blood and so it went for me. Just as I knew it would. Just as nature had ordained its jaw wide open, row upon row of these razor sharp teeth glinting underwater like jagged diamonds, its tail fin sweeping back and forth as it surged in for the kill. I swear to God, my whole life flashed before my eyes. Really, I had nothing left to offer except for pure reflex. Pure reflex and mankind's basic drive for survival that somehow shouts, No! I will not die today! <laughs> At that instant, man, I knew it was either the shark or me. The shark knew it. I knew it. Oh, jeez, God. 
it, it's nothing per personal, right? You know, it's just the way the world works, right? It's nature. But if I remember correctly, in that last glimmer of its eyes, there was a moment between us. Where he said, hey, Richard, man, enjoy your dinner. Oh, no! <laughs> Strange thing, killing a shark, isn't it, Richard? Just a big fish, Bugs. <laughs> just a big fish. Yeah, maybe. Maybe when it's just a baby and it hasn't really learned to kill yet. Then maybe it's just a big fish. When it's a great, white, angry mother with a taste of human blood on its tongue. Well, that's a different story. Oh, God, Jesus. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bugs. Is it just me? What does this wet weather make everyone so damn tired? Mm -hmm. Jeez, maybe we can hear your very different and I'm mm -hmm. sure very interesting story some other time, huh? Mm -hmm. oh, mm -hmm. Very interesting, Kitty. Verlo interessato. Toshi un simio. Hi, Oh, molto interessante. Good night, young lovers. <laughs> For a while, we were untouchable in our happiness. <laughs> a situation, it's not a disaster, but as some of you may have heard, a couple of sacks of rice have become contaminated by a fungus. That's because we keep it in that shed. Rice run! Which means that someone will have to come to Koh Panyang with me to buy some more rice. So don't all volunteer at once. Richard? Yeah. You gonna come to Copanyang with me? I don't know. I mean, I'll go with you. Don't worry, Bugs. Richard's gonna come, aren't you? Am I? Who thinks Richard should come? Yeah. 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 All right. Then I'll go to Copenhagen with you. Yeah. yeah. So, Richard, I want toothpaste and, and a toothbrush, yeah? Right. <clears throat> a new pair of swim trunks and a new hat. Richard, 100 aspirin, 100 paracetamol, six packs of tampons. And I want four double A batteries and 20 condoms. Make it 400. And a bottle of vodka. Six bars of chocolate, four boxes of tampons, assorted sizes. Smell it. It's a part of me. I am becoming a fish, Richard. Ordinary soap for ordinary people is a waste of time. I need something toxic, something industrial. Okay? Okay. That's a new beef curry. Yummy. As many AAA batteries as you can find, right? And a copy of the Daily Telegraph. It's just for the cricket, you know? Oh, 
Please fill this bag with a soft bog roll. Soft bog roll? Jasmine tea, tiger balm, lip balm, tea tree oil, bark oil. A big box of bleach. Hair conditioner, skin conditioner. Anything based on sugar. 12 packs of Rizla. Cumin, saffron, cinnamon. Antiperspirant and makeup remover. When you get to Kaupanyang, keep your hands to yourself and your dick in your pants. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I'd really been looking forward to air conditioning and some cold beer. But when we got to Copenhagen, I just wanted to leave again. In one moment, I understood more clearly than ever why we were so special. Why we kept our secret. Because if we didn't, then sooner or later, we'd turn it into this. Parasites. Eating up the whole fucking world. Couple months. Maybe maybe a year even. Yeah, really? I like it out here, you know? Things are different. I said things are different. Yeah. No, I'll call again. I'll call again. I promise. Okay? All right, I miss you too. All right. Okay. All right, bye. to be back in the real world. It's not like I remembered it. It's worse every time. It is Richard! Damn! God, how you doing, man? Oh, Shamey, come on over, man. Yo, Ricardo, what's oh, up, bro? Girls, I want you to meet the man. Hello, I'm Eva. Dyson is Richard. Hello. The man with the map. You're meant to meet them on the cutter? Yo, yo. Oh. They're going to come with us, bro. They're coming with us. Yeah. Sorry it's been so, so long, but, you know, we're just chilling out. You know how it yeah, is, Listen, bro. guys, I, I made a mistake. What are you what talking about, about, man? No, but listen to me. Ooh, there is no beef. I can't believe to see you, dude. Yeah. No beef. Yeah, no, seriously, the map thing, it was, it was fake. It was just like you said, dude, it was a story. <laughs> no, it's, it's yeah. a myth, really. <laughs> it, it doesn't exist. Yeah. Yeah. The map, it was a oh, fake, yeah. you understand know what I'm saying? Yeah. You wouldn't be holding out in us, would you? Let me guess, it's a fucking paradise! <laughs> it doesn't yeah. exist. Oh, man, what are you talking about? I think, yo, Zeph, I think he's <laughs> just trying to hold I out. I'm trying to tell you to forget it, all right, asshole? Well, that's the last time I buy you a fucking beer. So you told them where you were going? Yeah. And they saw the map. Mm -hmm. Did they have a copy? No. I 
Okay. Well, we can relax for a bit. I doubt they have it in them to get there anyway. But Richard, I don't think we should tell anybody about this. Okay. I think we should keep it between you and I. Thanks. <laughs> Well, I'm going to go and play a couple of games of pool with Sumet. Sumet? Snook? So why don't you go and warm the bed? Have a question. It was very nice. No, that's not it. It's about bugs. Okay. It's like this. Bugs is my boyfriend. My partner, okay? And you are someone I just had sex with. All right? Uh, it, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Good. Now get some sleep. I may wish to have sex again before we eat breakfast. silence and bought my ticket back, but I didn't even want to think about the real price. Ricardo, 
Grazie. One tin of beef curry. One disposable camera. I know it's not as good as the one you left behind. You'll probably have to wait a while for the prints, but what the hell, right? No, it doesn't matter. I like it. What's wrong? How is it? The rice run fine. No problem. I mean, being with Sam. Fine. I mean, we got along okay. Some people say she's attracted to you. Shit, I, I really wouldn't have noticed that. Nothing happened? No, of course not. You promise? I was so happy to be back that I couldn't bear to spoil the moment. Yes. Yes, I promise. Okay, come on, everybody. Come on, please. Come on. Please. All together. So I started just where I left off. It was almost like my trip to Copenhagen never happened. Almost. We can take you to a hospital, all right? We can do that. 
But when you're Man. there, you mustn't tell anybody where this hatch is. All right? We have to keep our secret. The gold. You're going to give up the thing with your neck and must come out. He says that we are to bring her up here for him. Neck must come out. He won't go near the wall. Yeah, but I understand that. But we can't bring anybody here. We can't do that. Bring her. We gotta bring her. We can't, Christo. You have to go, or you stay here and take your chances. Anyone disagree? Come, this man, stay. What are you saying? Stay. He wants to know what happened to his friend. We gathered here today to say a last respect to Sten. May God take your soul. And you will rest forever in peace, mate. <laughs> we'll miss you. Yogis Garde from Cristo and me. Repositing Baji from Lawrence. <laughs> After the funeral, we all tried to get back to normal, but it just didn't seem right. Pretty soon, it became clear that the problem was Christo. Shut up! You see, in a shark attack, or any other major tragedy, I guess, the important thing is to get eaten and die. In which case there's a funeral and somebody makes a speech and everybody says what a good guy you were. Or get better. In which case everyone can forget about it. I can't take this. No, I'm still Get better or die. It's the hanging around in between that really pisses people off. Listen to me. You can't do this. This is disgusting. Take him back. Fucking animals. What are you doing this for? Huh? Tell me. How can you do this?
Richard. Fucking bastards! Bastards. It would be a lot easier to condemn our behavior if it hadn't been so effective. But out of sight, really was out of mind. Once he was gone, we felt a whole lot better. On the beach, it's easy to turn your back, but not always so easy to forget. that, or is that not, a map she's holding? And did you, or did you not, make that copy? You know, the lying doesn't bother me. But that map is trouble. The farmers. Right, you remember those men with guns. They said to us, they told us, no more people. And now it looks like we're handing out fucking poor guys. Sal, I mean, we could explain, right? I mean, we, we could tell them it was Daffy. We could explain. I want you up here every day until those people come. Here? Yes, here. And when they come, I want you to get the map back, okay? Whatever happens, you get the map back. Wait, 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 Sal, wait. Sal, take a look at this. I mean, they could be there for weeks. That's right, and you'll be here waiting for them. Well, well, what am I supposed to do when they actually get here? Get the map! You turn it, you handed it out, now you get it back and turn them away! Sal! Sal! Are you gonna tell everyone else what I did? Now this was truly a pain in the ass. I mean, I didn't want these people to come here any more than Sal did. But what exactly did she expect me to do? Chase them away? Threaten them? I mean, with what? By the time these kids got here, I'd probably have starved to death. Sal? Sal, is that you? Get that light out of my... You're a pig! Damn it! What the fuck was that for? Look! There's nothing I could do. I have to stay up here. Now that, okay? What is it then? You and Salim Kopanyan. Oh, that. Yes, that. She has told everyone. And me, I'm the last one to find out. At least she believes in honesty, not like you. I mean, Francoise, I, 
What, what can I say? Nothing. There's nothing you can say. Thank you. Thank you for making my life just... crushed and I guess I deserved it I mean I could have given her all the excuses she wanted but it still wouldn't have made any difference great great at first I thought I was gonna die up here that my entire world was gonna end But it didn't. In fact, pretty soon I found that there were plenty of other things to keep me occupied. And before I knew it, I found that love, like grief, tends to fade away and be replaced by something more exciting. <clears throat> and life up on the hill turned out to be a big improvement. I mean, up here I could do whatever I wanted. There was no fishing duty, no gardening shit, no hassle from bugs or ATN or Francois. I was playing my own game now, and I had absolutely no reason to go back. Okay, so I was just fooling around. But the longer I stayed away from the community, the less I missed them. And I found new players. Even if they didn't know it yet.
This forest was my territory. Retrieving the map. My mission. And these? My defenders. I was the only one with the overview of how it all fitted together. The island. Me. Them. The invaders. What are you doing sitting in the dark? Improving my night vision. What for, mate? You know, I think about a lot. I have no idea. Daffy. Daffy? I admire him. You hardly knew him. True. But he had a certain style. Come here. about you. Do you hear that? If you know, like, you would have seen? I don't... 
sponging you the bread? No, get your fucking act together, Richard, man. You can't do this. You can't run around in the dark, not talking to nobody. What do you think you're playing there, man? What's happened to you? You was all right. Just a couple of weeks ago, you was fine. And now what the fuck is going on? Look at you. And you're talking about Daffy? Daffy was a nutter, right? He went up there and he lost it. He's gone. Richard. Richard. Do you know what I'm saying to you? Don't lose it like you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Don't go there. Stay with us. Come, come back, Rich. These are good people. They don't talk about people all the time. They're talking about you because you're fucked up, all right? Don't do this, man. Of any day now. You're zero. That's the spirit killer. You know, so you led the way, Daffy. You showed me the truth. But it doesn't matter what I think anymore. It's up to you now. I won't let you down. No offense, but uh, you fucked in the head, man. It's been really nice knowing you, Daffy. Thank <laughs> you. 
ahead because I see that beyond any problems that we might have had right beyond any problems that we might have that we have so much here to inspire 
inspire us. And I'm not just talking about the island. I'm talking about you. You are what makes this place work. And it does. I tried to remember the person I used to be. But I just couldn't do it. And so long as I stayed here, I'd never find him again. play soccer, the guy without a girlfriend. I remember. Just been away for a while. That's all. That's all. Il a ses plus la question, ils ont buté 4 personnes, ils ont tué 4 personnes. Mais ne crois pas, il tient complètement taré. Mais ça, la... mais dis pas n'importe quoi, faut qu'on s'en aille. Mais qu'est-ce que tu crois Tu crois que j'ai envie de rester ici Moi, tu crois que j'ai pas envie de partir Listen, it's either really fucked up. Four people are dead, I don't know what else they're gonna do. But we have to leave now. That's it. Just the three of us. Just like before. Richard. I can't leave him. Then we'll take him with us. But look at him. Look at him, Richard. We can't move him. It's gangrene. It's spreading. It's gonna die. <laughs> Christo had suffered because we wouldn't let anything spoil our fun. In the perfect beach resort, nothing is allowed to interrupt the pursuit of pleasure. Not even dying.
want to hurt you? I'm a farmer. That's all. Understand? I work. I send the money to my family. If too many people come to this island, it's trouble for me. I can't work. I can't send the money. And my family don't eat. I said no more people. But more people come. And you, you give them the map. Now, you all go home. Forget this island. Forget about Thailand. Understand? Huh? Understand? No. What? No. We're not leaving. This is our home too. This is our house. We built it with our own hands. And we are not leaving. Sal. Sal. I think, I think you're making a big mistake here. Really. If he says that we should leave... Richard, shut up! This is all your fault anyway. Who copied the map, Richard? You are the Quero boy. The one who sneak out. Steal no, from no, us. No. Pay with the guns. And you bring people here. to stay. Hope back. If you want to stay. Sal, put the gun down. You let us down, Rich. You brought us trouble. Oh, Sal! Sal! Make yourself! Make yourself! Over and you know it. Come on. Because this time, 
This time it's not like Christo riding out in the woods when no one can see. It's not like the four people that I saw killed today. This time, everyone has to watch Sal. Everyone has to see what it takes to give her a little paradise a secret. Come on, everyone watch! Shut up. Everyone watch Sal uh, do this! Come on. Yeah, come on, Sal, do it. Come on, do it. Come on, do it, yeah. Let him see the blood this time, huh? Huh? Let's see if they can take it out. Oh! They can take it. No. Run! 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 <laughs> no! 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 Game over. But she was never going to leave. She believed in it all way too much to ever change. So that's exactly where we left her. As for the rest of us, we carried away our sins and made our way back to wherever it was that we called home to pick up the pieces of whatever was waiting. Of course, you can never forget what you've done. But we adapt. We carry on. But now at least I know it's not some place you can look for. Because it's not where you go. It's how you feel for a moment in your life when you're a part of something. And if you find that moment, Last 
forever. See Leonardo DiCaprio as a soldier of fortune making a dangerous living smuggling diamonds and weapons between war-torn Sierra Leone and Liberia in Blood Diamond, which premieres on Sky Movies next month. Until then, you can catch him in Martin Scorsese's Oscar-winning crime thriller, The Departed, downloadable at no extra cost from sky.com slash anytime PC. Drift